Hey, what is good YouTube? This is Monocraft and today we're going to be taking a look at my top 30 pickups for 2013. I'm going to be doing this across three different videos. So this is part one of three and basically I got this idea from seeing a review that uh, Rizzy Racks did of his top seven um, authentic shoes and then Rain the Mask did a follow-up video and then Oh Kill Me Boy Jack but I think I'm probably pronouncing his name right because he has a new channel he has a new username so uh, I'll put a description or annotation um, correcting that but he did a top five I think it was sometime last night or this morning um, so I decided to use inspiration and play off of what these guys have done in showing my top 30 pickups since 2014 is just a couple days away. So enough of my blabbing because as you guys know I can talk. Um, let's get into the shoes guys and the first shoe we have that we're taking a look at is the Foot Patrol Saucony collaboration. Foot Patrol in short kill this pure murderation like i mean they absolutely murdered this collab um the suede on this guys is just like so ridiculously buttery soft it's you want to put it on bread like you basically want to put it on bread and eat it like it's that soft really nice color blocking on the shoe absolutely absolutely love what they did with it um i picked this up i think it was from sneakerpolitics.com um, really limited edition shoe, really hard to get your hands on. You have to know what sites were releasing them. Uh, I'm gonna do a video in the future about why I don't camp out and why I don't wait in lines. Um, but guys, absolutely, absolutely ridiculous shoe. Um, I mean, really, really beautiful in my opinion. So this is number one. But these shoes are not in any particular order. Um, all 30 shoes are just 30 shoes that I picked out of my pickups from this year all authentics pickups only and I decided to share with my subscribers and new viewers um, as far as pickups there's no particular order to them. this is number one guys number two is a shoe that you guys should be familiar with if you've been watching my channel um, these are the Nike Air Hirachi Safari LE absolutely insane shoe in my opinion part of what I mean it's a dope colorway dark loading laser orange but part of what makes this shoe really really fire is um, basically on the toe box and upper of the shoe you have this nice kind of varnish safari pattern um, and then the laces on this shoe are just like absolutely amazing like I wear mine just like that so I wear that's how I rock them exactly like that just open like that I mean absolutely absolutely dope straight fire shoe um, some sites I think still have these the red ones of these didn't do really well I see a lot more sites with uh, the red of those in like full sizes where these are like sold out on some sites and on other sites only have like um, some really limited sizes left that's number two this is by the way one of my most favorite pickups of um, 2013 by um, bar none one of my favorites moving right along Guys, we have a brand and a shoe that I think is seriously slept on, but to each his own. Um, I'm never here to tell you how to spend your money or what to like. I'm always here to just encourage you, support you, but this is definitely like my type of shoe personally. These are the Lecoque Sportif, that is the brand. These are the LCS R1000s. Absolutely, absolutely I mean insane colorway the burnt orange on this shoe you know in here in the sock liner on the outsole of the shoe right here on the midsole um, the two uh, eyelets I mean the the colors on this are just so well balanced I think if I had to look at all of my shoes and I had to pick what was one of my favorite color balancing or color blocking shoes of 2013 this would be in my top three hands down like there's no question about it this would be in my top three so absolutely insane pickup really really happy with this I picked this up from Hanan shop I know that footpatrol.co.uk was selling them also but they were a little more expensive so I got them from Hanan shop moving right along guys to number four um, we're gonna take a look at 
uh, shoe that you guys saw me review in detail. This was a YouTube first. It's definitely too crazy for some people out there. Um, you know, but no worries. I will do this every day, all day, because um, I love uh, crazy, colorful shoes. These are the Puma RS100s. The RS100s, in my opinion, are one of the most slept on brands as far as durability and build in, um, in the sneaker world. A lot of people don't know about RS100s. Um, you can sometimes get them, not this particular model, but other models as cheap as I have gotten steals on eBay as low as $35 shipped, 60 something, 50 something dollars shipped. A lot of people don't know about these shoes. Um, these shoes, the RS1, my first pair of RS100s were picked up in 2004 and I still have those shoes today. They can still be worn. That's how durable and how badass these shoes are. Seriously, seriously slept on shoe. Puma, Puma RS100 Animals. Puma hadn't done anything awesome in a while. They did these this year. I was like, oh yeah, that's me all day, every day. Guys, coming in at number five, we have the Saucony West NYC Shadow 5000 Cabin Fever um, collaboration. Absolutely, um, I mean, awesome shoe. Um, one of the most uh, exciting shoes collaborations and exciting shoes uh, that came out this year. Um, I had some jokes with Don K. Ruler about this shoe because I actually ended up giving up my, uh, like giving up the chance of getting these the first week to get these instead. And I'm glad I did because these proved a lot harder to get. So uh, these, uh, these ended up growing on me. I ended up picking them up. Super, super happy I did. Um, absolutely, absolutely beautiful shoe. I can't say enough good things about this shoe. And it would take an entirely, uh, an entire separate uh, video just to talk about all the dope materials and things happening on this shoe. But I'll save you the time by telling you or recommending go to Bull One TRC's channel. You'll see him review this shoe. Uh, he does a really, really good job of it. He's one of my favorite reviewers out there. Another one of my favorite reviewers out there, I think, changed the on-foot sneaker game in such a great way. Former Simpson, Mr. Former Simpson, I'm sorry, basically did an on-foot type of storytelling vibe with the Cabin Fevers. And it is, hands down, one of the best, if not the best, um, on-foot video I have seen for 2013. Um, dude is obviously not lazy and puts in the work. He grinds his videos. He grinds on them straight up. Guys, coming in at number six, we have a Garb Store um, Reebok collaboration. This, in my opinion, is another slept on shoe. They were wrong for quite a while. There's actually a couple um, sites where I think you can still pick these up. Uh, these are double pumps. They have pumps on both sides of the shoe. Um, I mean, Reebok sometimes makes some shoes, guys, that honestly, it looks, excuse me, it looks a little futuristic. Um, at least with these kind of like these double pumps on either side. Absolutely insane shoe. Love what they did with the color blocking on this. You know, that lighter type of like denim blue, then this darker denim type of navy blue. Um, even though this is like a type of nylon uh, material. Um, I mean, guys, like from the tongue of the shoe, you know, the way they treated that. You know, with the double tags right there, the Garb Store logo, and then the Reebok logo up here. Um, I mean, absolutely, after they kind of reversed it, you know, like that sometimes. This tag is on the outside of Reeboks, but they like told, I mean, Garb Store is just, they're, they're, they're beasts. When it comes to collaboration, they are absolute beasts, um, in my personal opinion, at least. So guys, this right now is uh, number seven, it looks like. Uh, actually, it's number six. I'm sorry. So that's number six. Um, guys, coming in at number seven um, is a shoe that is actually from 2012, but I picked it up just this year because I got a really good deal on it from an eBay seller that I trust. Um, guy definitely sells really, really good. Um, well, he sells authentic shoes. Um, but he's a really good seller to deal with. That's what I meant to say. These are the Nike Air Hirachi um, 2012 uh, Black History Month with the uh, Nike Free Soul, as we can see right there. Um, just love what they did with the pattern. This does come with a spare pair of laces. Um, absolutely, absolutely bananas. Um, I mean, really, really nice pair of shoes. Um, super digging these, but they are a 2012 model. So I don't know if that's cheating, but there's really no rules here to this video and review. 
Guys, coming in at number eight, imagine that a runner, you know, as in um, this style of shoe, not the runner that actually runs a marathon, but a runner as in, again, this style of shoe, met a dress shoe, a classy dress shoe, and they were like, yo, let's go on a date, I'm feeling you. You feeling me? And they were like, yeah. They went on a date, it was love, they got married, they had a baby. This is what that pretty little baby looked like. This is their, this is their beautiful little love child, their little beauty child. Guys, I saw these on jackdreads.com. I was like, yo, Wesk pretty much just absolutely killed this. You know, known for their jackets and their clothing, kind of not so much known for dropping dopeness, you know, fire like this, but they basically were maybe like the dating site um, or the hookup between, um, like I said, that runner and that dress shoe. They loved each other and this is what happened. Um, absolutely insane shoe coming in at number eight. Guys, um, number nine is um, the, the Saucony Bodega or a Saucony Bodega collaboration. Uh, these are um, the Shadow, or the, I'm sorry, these are the G9s. Guys, absolutely, uh, the Grid 9s, I think, or Shadow 9s. Then the Grid, yeah, the Grid. See right there, Grid 9, Saucony. So these are the G9s, guys. Again, um, you know, Bodega, Saucony collaboration. Absolutely insane shoe. As with the Puma animals, these may have too much going on for some people, but they definitely have enough going on for me where I love, love, love them very much. I mean, awesome shoe. I picked this up from runcolors.pl. Um, really interesting story. Just found them on eBay and the guy wanted almost $400 for them. I was like, no way, dude, like you're crazy. I'm not paying that for, the, for no shoes. Um, did some digging, some research, found Run Colors. They had them in a bunch of sizes. They actually may still have them in a bunch of sizes. And um, their site, the entire site is in Polish because uh, the store is located in Warsaw, Poland. So I basically shot them over a Facebook message. They sent me, you know, after some back and forth, they sent me a PayPal invoice. I paid for my shoes, got them in about a week and a half. Um, straight dopeness. Guys, to end this first um, part, this, uh, to end video one of three, we're gonna basically just wrap it up with the A6 Gel Light uh, Maroon Blue. Uh, absolutely insane colorway that was dropped, I think in like uh, maybe the last, or the second to last week in um, November. Tried to get these at Packer Shoes. They were actually, for some odd reason, talking about a shoe on their blog and then listing it on their actual website that they didn't actually have in stock. Um, I really don't deal with that store. Uh, that's a whole other long story, but if anyone else does, that's cool. But I decided to just basically not go back there and um, to look for them on eBay, which I found them at retail cost, the same price that, um, whatchamacallit, Packers was selling them for, and um, free shipping. So I ordered them, super happy with them. I mean, they're really, really nice. A lot of these shoes, guys, I have not worn yet, but I will get around to that in 2014. Guys, um, that being said, this is... Uh, the, this is 10 shoes out of 30 that we've just looked at. This is video one of three for my top 30 pickups of 2013 because it's soon going to be 2014 in a couple days and I couldn't think of a better way to kick out the year um, or to say goodbye to the year by basically um, showing you my top 30 shoes. Guys, stay tuned for part two of three as I bring you more um, heat on feet goodness. Um, this is your boy Modern Craft and I'm out. Peace.